Hello again from me, Götz, here in Cebu City and today with the topic that truly interests all men. What do they really want from us, the Filipino women? And with 10 years of living in the Philippines and well, some experience with the ladies here, I can give you the five most important answers about what Filipino women really want. Fundamentally, you need to understand that the values of Filipino women are deeply rooted. The image of the ideal family is shaped by the still prevalent extended families as well as by television, church and politics. And as a result, Filipino girls and women are imbued with a strong touch of romance. One could also say they are to a great extent hopelessly romantic. This romantic inclination often influences their expectations and desires in relationships. They seek genuine emotional connections, gestures of affection and meaningful expressions of love. This might include small thoughtful acts that demonstrate your care and attention. Furthermore, loyalty and commitment hold immense importance to them. They are more inclined to invest in a relationship when they feel a deep and lasting connection. While this might seem like common relationship advice, it holds even more significance in the context of Filipino culture. Especially those girls who have been less exposed to the influences of modern cities yearn for a love that is strong enough to weather stormy times. Particularly in the provinces, upbringing remains heavily influenced by conservatism and a traditional family image is not only conveyed but also exemplified. In these areas, the values of commitment, fidelity and unity within the family hold even more weight. The notion of a long-lasting partnership built on shared values and mutual support is cherished deeply. This is why Filipino women often seek partners who understand and appreciate these traditional values and who are willing to be a solid foundation in their lives. Therefore, coming to the first point on the list what Philippine women really want, it's marriage. Marriage holds great significance in Philippine culture. This is reflected not only in the laws but also in societal norms. Adultery is strictly punished and also divorce known as annulment is legally possible. It involves significant financial expenses, making divorces in the Philippines a rare occurrence. Marriage is much more than a mere legal matter here. It's an emotionally charged commitment of profound importance. What's important to grasp is that for a young Filipina, marriage isn't just the pinnacle of a romantic relationship, it's also the commencement of a stable future. Filipino women therefore aspire to find their ideal life partners and to establish a harmonious family life with them. Marriage often signifies a sacred Christian bond for them. This aspect can be challenging for a Western man who may not be deeply religious or bound by such beliefs to comprehend fully. The second crucial aspect for understanding women here is the consideration for their future well-being. While we men in the West primarily rely on our retirement plans, in the Philippines the concept of owing one's own home holds enormous significance for Filipino women. It's not solely about having a physical roof over their heads, it's primarily about financial security in old age. In a culture deeply tied to familial bonds, women in particular view their homes often accompanied by a piece of land as an inheritance they can pass down to their children and grandchildren. This emphasis on property ownership is deeply rooted in the desire to provide for future generations and to ensure a stable foundation for their family's future. It's about creating a legacy that extends beyond their own lifetimes. As such, when Filipino women seek a partner, they often consider his ability to contribute to this vision of long-term security. This perspective might differ from the priorities in Western societies, where retirement funds and pensions take precedence. However, understanding and respecting this value placed on property ownership can help forge stronger connections and bridge the cultural gap when building a relationship with a Philippine woman. 
as the third point can, and now it's your turn, the man, the partner. The fidelity of the partner is a cornerstone in the relationships of Filipino women. They place great importance on the exclusivity of their bond and expect the same fidelity and commitment to the partnership from you. A man who not only radiates but lives loyalty and reliability is highly valued by a Filipino woman. Maintaining this fidelity is seen as a sign of love and respect for her as a woman and is crucial for the stability of the relationship. In a society where trust and commitment are revered virtues, a partner's loyalty is seen as a reflection of his character and integrity. Filipino women seek a partner who is not only emotionally invested but also demonstrate consistency in his actions and words. Open communication and transparency are key in fostering this sense of trust and security. Coming to the next important point, children should be mentioned. Yes, in the Philippines a good marriage is expected to have children and you could even say that the more children the better. The role of the mother holds immense significance in Filipino society. Filipino women view motherhood as an honor and a source of joy. They aspire to raise their children with love and to impart values and traditions to them. Family already holds a high place of importance and the well-being of the children is at the core. This is because children are seen as a guarantee for future care and security in old age. Having many children is a way to ensure one's own well-being and this is particularly noticeable within the lower income population. In a culture where family ties are strong and intergenerational support is valued, having children is seen as a way to invest in the future. This perspective is deeply rooted in practical considerations as well as the emotional fulfillment that comes from nurturing a family. When understanding the desires of Filipino women, recognizing the role of children and family in their lives is vital. It's about appreciating their commitment to building a strong and secure family unit, while also considering how your own aspirations align with these values. Furthermore, the traditional notion of the man as the provider for the family is valued by Filipino women. They see it as a positive sign when a man can offer financial stability and security However, many Filipino women, in addition to their roles as homemakers, are also somewhat independent and contribute to the household income with small side earnings. In a family, everyone must pitch in to put food on the table. Nonetheless, a man who can provide for his family is regarded as responsible and is held in high esteem. The balance between traditional roles and evolving dynamics is a key aspect of relationships in the Philippines. While valuing the man's role as a provider, Filipino women also appreciate partners who respect their contributions and share in the responsibilities. It's about recognizing the shared effort required to maintain the well-being of the family and supporting each other's endeavors. To sum it up, if you intend to marry a Filipina, be prepared to have a strong and loyal partner by your side. She will love and support you unconditionally and she will always be there for you. However, she also expects from you the same level of commitment to be there for her and your family to love and respect her and to provide a good life for her and your children. If you make the mistake of playing with her feelings or even cheating on her, consider yourself fortunate if she only scolds you and gives you the cold shoulder. Because as mentioned before, infidelity can indeed land you in jail or even in the cemetery in the Philippines. However, I didn't intend to end the video on such a negative note, so if you're ready to fulfill the five expectations of your Filipina that we've discussed, she will be a perfect partner for you. She will bring happiness into your life and provide you with a fulfilled existence. So the ball is in your court, just like it's up to you to subscribe to my channel or at least leave a like. Until the next video from me, goodbye for now.